That's right. It's been eerie and just dreary the last mm -hmm. several days, and we're going to continue with this pattern for the next several days here across the state. This is the state fairground sky cam looking back to the west toward downtown, and we can't see downtown because of those low clouds and the fog that are persistent. Still widespread cloud cover across the state, and with those light winds and a lot of moisture, that has led to the development of fog, and those cloud bases are low this afternoon. Temperatures largely holding for most of us in the lower 30s, so we're above freezing, no ice concerns, but it will remain cloudy with areas of fog throughout the afternoon. Our temperature is largely holding right around 34 to 35 degrees. You can see there go the showers that were in southeast Iowa this morning. Just behind that, though, a lot of low clouds and fog that are in place, and a lot of folks may be wondering why has it been so cloudy and foggy? Well, we've been watching this warmer air this week. Remember, we had that Arctic air in place last week. That warmer air has been trying to come in, but we have a lot of snow on the ground, and so as that warm, moist air moves over the snowpack that leads to that persistent cloudy and foggy pattern and that's going to persist as we move into the rest of this afternoon and tonight we're going to watch a weak disturbance move in after midnight through early tomorrow morning that may trigger a few light showers in addition to the fog most of that shower activity concentrated over central southern and eastern parts of the state the rain will persist as we move into the midday and early afternoon hours as that weak area of low pressure moves off to the north notice though that we are all above freezing so we're just just anticipating liquid precipitation out of that system and you can see tomorrow evening most of the rain exits but still expecting some areas of low clouds and fog to persist. Rainfall amounts with this next system around a tenth to a quarter of an inch locally higher amounts to the southeast where we may see a quarter to one half an inch but the big thing a lot of folks will notice is the fog. It remains very thick throughout the remainder of today. Later on this evening mostly our western and northern counties could see that reduced visibility down to a quarter of a mile and then tomorrow morning it starts out to be an issue again, especially over central and northwest parts of the state where visibility could be under a quarter of a mile. We get a break during the midday and afternoon hours tomorrow, but it will still be raining during that time frame. And then as the rain exits, Monday or Friday night into Friday morning here, more dense fog will be likely to persist. Eventually, we're going to get rid of that cloudy, foggy pattern as we move into next week. We're going to watch this ridge build in that will bring in warmer and drier air as well going into early next week. And you can see that reflected there in your eight day forecast. We have a lot more clouds and fog with those shower chances to persist through Thursday. Just kind of a cloudy, dry and dreary, uh, dreary weekend with temperatures largely hovering in the middle 30s and then Next week, we start to see our temperatures work their way back into the lower 40s under partly cloudy skies, and it's likely as we look ahead to the end of a month, well above normal temperatures will move back into the upper Midwest and persist into early February.